what's up everybody it's rick welcome back last episode we left off on this farm where there was a group of nice people who offered us eat food in exchange for some help alvis always wants to rob a place but we're not going to rob the place that is off the list of things that we could do tilling and planting hauling and hauling or alvis repair work alvis's repair is pretty good no it's not it's pretty terrible i was looking at morale alvis's mechanical is terrible um so, Alvis is gonna try to do some repair work. Oh, it worked! Alvis offers his services in fixing things around the farm. There's so many broken things that he becomes exhausted. Alvis's mechanical increase, that's good. We got eight food, and Carrie convinces the farmers to give him a pitchfork. Carrie, good job. The group gets a rare peaceful moment to relax on an apartment roof. There's time to talk, and someone reveals a lot about themselves. Who do we not know a lot about? Um, first off, Ash. Ash's shooting could not possibly get worse. It is blinking red, and I've never seen that before. Carrie, we know almost everything to know about Carrie. Alvis, we know a lot about you. Honestly, it's Ash who we don't know a lot about. Ash is a mystery. Ash reveals his true essence. Ash's strength is revealed. Ash, you are terrible at everything. I'm gonna I'm gonna level with you. Ash, you aren't you are not good. Your strength, fitness, and shooting are all blinking red. You are the worst. But you're a nice guy. Your wits, attitude, composure, and loyalty are all really good. But oh my god. Oh, it's because you're tired. That's why. But still, you're bad. You're very bad at these things. Okay? While driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. Um, apartment row, riled up house, or a museum that is blinking. A museum that's blinking usually means that there's something that's going to happen there, I believe. So let's go to the museum. The group drives close to a museum. It must have been popular as the undead are out in droves. Signs of banners outside advertising the all, the mall? Wait, mall katanas of the United States exhibit? That's a weird exhibit. Very thick, calm in the morning. All right, this is similar to what happened last time. Ash, I'm gonna take this gun from you because you're terrible with guns, all right? You're just not a good gun boy. I'm gonna give the gun to myself, all right? Ash, I'm gonna give you the pitchfork though, okay? There you go, you get a pitchfork. And Alvis, you get nothing. We should probably dump some stuff too, huh? Let's dump this stick and dump this rebar. We don't need you there. Dump this bone and dump this log. There we go. Finally cleaning up that inventory. And I think we're good to go. Okay, I've got my hammer. We're tired though. And that's gonna make this a little bit tricky. We can always just go straight for the exit if we wanted to. Like, we don't need to stick around this place. Come on, everybody. Okay, good. Thick, but calm. Thick, but calm. The best kind of zombies are calm zombies. Could do without the thick part. Oh, man, yes, there are lots of katanas here. Lots and lots of katanas. I wonder if there's gonna be somebody here, though. I think that there's probably gonna be somebody here that I can find, right? And everybody's got katanas. Should I get a katana, too? I have my egg, though, and I want to incubate my egg. So, I'm not gonna drop it. Come on, Elvis. Let's go, buddy. Okay, there are no more doors in this place. So, I'm gonna try to kite the zombies down into this corner, and then we're gonna do a lap around and try to sneak out. Here we go. Keep kiting. Keep kiting. Here we go. Form a nice, tight group of calm zombies up here. All right, let's go, boys. Good job. All the way around. We call this one around the world. There we go. Good job, everybody. Let's go through this door. Ooh, we got food. Yeah, not that I needed more food, but, you know, you can never have too much. And that's a fact, Jack. Any other doors in here? There's got to be, right? Yeah, there's one down here. Come on, everybody. Ash, you look very tired. Oh, God, that's some thick zombies there. Okay, we're gonna have to get into that door. Okay, good. They are slow enough that we can just sneak by them. Good. Okay, this is where we came in. This is just a bathroom, a stinking, stinking bathroom. Ain't nothing good in the bathroom. Was that it? Was that ser- that could have been it, right? No, that could not have been it. Could it have been it? Maybe it was. You just broke a katana. 
I I'm gonna go search one more time because I feel like that could not have been it. Okay, yeah, there's no doors in here. Okay, we're gonna need to let some of these zombies come out because it's very thick in here. Okay, there we go. Um, no door there. All right. No door down here. We went into here, right? Was there another door in this room that I missed? No, there was definitely not another door in here. Okay, then there was this place here that we went into. Oh, lots of zombies. Oh, oh god, don't get bit, don't get bit, don't get bit, don't get bit, don't get bit. Alvis, 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 god damn it, Alvis. Okay, there was this place that had all the katanas. Was there another door in here? There was not. Just lots and lots of katanas. And no door here. I guess it was just the katanas. I guess it was just the katanas. Okay. Well, now you guys got some katanas. You feeling good? Feeling like samurai, are you? I hope you guys are feeling real cool. Because we got to get out of here. All right. I hope that your cool factor is at 10. Let's go. Katanas it is. Let's go. Four food. We did get four food. So there's that. And I think we have enough medical supplies to heal Alvis. Yep, Alvis is healed. Okay, but our car is going to break down soon. The group sets up camp for the night after being sure there's no danger here. They discover edible berry bushes all around the campsite. The berries wouldn't be a big amount of food. No, no, we got plenty of food. You guys, good sleep for you guys. The group really doesn't want to pick berries. Yep, they eat six food and they go to sleep. All right, everybody's in a good mood now. The group finds a new person, Burnell. He is alone and wants to join the team. Burnell claims to be a great shot with a gun. He refuses to prove he's good because his fingers hurt right now. Suspicious. Alvis has a good feeling about this person. Burnell's shooting... Oh, Burnell is true. Your shooting is revealed. And Alvis' shooting is also really good, but that doesn't matter because Alvis can't shoot. Um, we got enough food, right? We still got plenty of food. I'm sure. Yeah, we have 36 food. So, yeah. Come on, Burnell. Onward to Canada. We've got Burnell, whose attitude is bad. Yeah, man. Let's... What did you say? I have no idea. We just... Fight or flip. Burnell makes mistakes while scouting a town and gets cornered by a large group of zombies while unarmed. He is trapped in an alley. At the end of the alley is heavy garbage and a large fence. Use parkour abilities. Throw garbage. Um, use parkour abilities? We don't know enough about Burnell, do we? We know his shooting and morale. All right, I'm gonna try parkour. Nope. Burnell struggles to climb the fence and zombies manage to get a, a bite in. Burnell's not very fit. But you're alive, Burnell. Uh -huh. You're alive, but we don't have enough medical supplies to heal you up. While driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. Ominous Labs, apartment rescue. Ominous Labs, right? It's ominous. The group drives past an office complex. The sign says Omni Biocorp Labs, which sounds way too evil to be a real company. Very thick, irritated, near noon. Okay, very thick, irritated. Um, we should probably leave somebody behind, right? Can we leave people behind? I don't know if we can. I don't think that we can actually leave people behind in this run. So I think we're just going to have to bring everybody with us. I don't have... How do I not have any bullets? Okay, there we go. Now I have bullets. Um, I'm going to leave my egg here. Burnell, you have zero bullets. You are a really good shot, though, Burnell. So maybe you should have a gun, huh? There we go. 60 bullets for you. 60 for me. Um, Ash, you have the pitchfork and the katana. Alvis, you have a katana. You don't need the katana. I'm going to take that from you, all right? And Burnell, I'm going to give you a katana as well so that you have... There we go. All right. Let's investigate. Um, oh, roll. Good. I think that I can actually rest people. I'm going to rest you, Burnell. And I think I'm going to rest. That's it. I'm just going to rest Burnell. Let's go. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Thick, thick, thick zombies here. Through this door, guys. Come on. Okay. Oh, God. This is a bathroom. Bad idea. Bad idea. Uh, switch to my gun. Switch to my gun. Go, 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 guys, go. Alvis, come on. Oh, my God. 
That was a lot of zombies. Oh my god, that was an incredible amount of zombies. Okay, let's go down this door, guys. And let's shut the door behind us. There we go. Can I search that desk? No, I can't. Okay, okay. Go through this door. Alvis, let's go. Close the no, no, god damn it. Oh, I hate when that happens. I just try to close the door and then I leave. Okay, no, 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 no. Don't stay in the bathroom. Holy butts. Okay. That's the door that we came through. So we're not ready to do that one yet. Let's go, guys. I got a gun. I can't switch to my gun while until, like, my hammer is done cooling down, though. That kind of sucks. Sometimes I get into situations where... Oh, God. Oh, God. Come on. Holy butts. Holy butts. Okay. I hope we discover the mystery of this lab soon because there are a lot of zombies. Come on. Alvis, what are you doing, you psychopath? Let's go. I swear to God, if everybody dies and we're just stuck with Burnell, I'm going to be very upset. All right? Very upset. Oh, here we go. Looks like some sort of mad science thing. There's no telling what this could do if messed with. Carrie enters the machine. What? What? Carrie gets blasted by mysterious science rays until the machine ceases to work. He feels energized. Is Carrie a dog? What? Excuse me? Carrie's a dog. I mean, a very energetic dog, but a dog. Come on, guys. Follow Carrie? What? I mean, I'm one hell of a dog, though. Like, I think that I have, like, infinite amount of energy. Holy crap. I cannot believe Carrie turned into a dog. <laughs> what? Okay. I was not expecting that. I was expecting to turn into, like, a mad scientist or something, you know? A friggin' dog? But, I mean, like I said, best dog ever, right? Best dog ever. Okay, come on. Oh, God. Guys. Guys. I don't, I don't need you dying on me, okay? Let's see if we can remember how to get out of this place. Okay, I think it was this door up here. There's probably still more to explore here, but we're just gonna get the hell out of here, right? We left Burnell in the car, and I don't think I cracked the windows. We gotta go check on him. Oh my god, that's a lot of zombies. Um, oh, there's some food here. Oh, oh, careful, careful, Carrie. Okay, let's go back down. Okay, um, let these zombies sort of filter through. Let's try to kite them into the bottom here, and then we're gonna have to run up and around. Ready, guys? Go, 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 go! This way, this way, Elvis. And up and around, we're gonna go fast. Come on. Thing is going fast here. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Come on, Elvis. Elvis! Elvis! Okay, good. That was scary. I thought Elvis was a goner. All right, let's get to the exit, boys. Oh, yes. One food, 106 pistol ammo, and we got a dog! We got it. The car's completely run out of gas. That's fine. Let's check my stats. Check the stats. Look at this good boy. Super trained. Carries a dog. Carries a dog. Look at this. Strength is so good. Best boy. Carry his best boy. Oh my goodness. Okay. We're we're on the road though. Oh no! The group gets sandwiched between a horde of zombies! Everybody got hurt. We do not have enough medical supplies to deal with this. Group 10 uh, at camping is interrupted by a near angry bear. They are forced to abandon the camp with little sleep and must make a panic decision about what to grab fast. Grab all the food. The group manages to grab all the food before fleeing. They grab what other supplies they can. Okay, we lost some bullets. That's that's okay. Um, Burnell rolls up his sleeves and starts tending to their wounds, but I don't have enough medical supplies. Oh, come on, the group. Oh, come on, dude. Come on. I hate this. The group is hiking down a gravel road when they see a group of red cars. Oh, my God. This is so dumb. Late night. Uh, Carrie, can I give you a uh, flashlight? Wait. We lost the flashlight? We lost everything. Oh, come on. 
Oh, come on. Ah. Uh, here we go. The pitch dark. Let's go, everybody. At the very least, this dog's gonna survive. Come on, everybody! Oh my god, this dog is the best, by the way. Um, I may just make it to Canada with a dog, just so you guys know. Okay, we've got to the car. Everybody in. I may be leaving somebody behind. I don't know, it's too dark to tell. Okay, we got everybody. <laughs> We're back on the road. Oh, dear God.